Hello students, welcome back to the 11th video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number 11, the last question of the most recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 2, which is October 2024 P2 paper. So let's see uh, what's the last question of this October 2024 paper is about. So you can see uh, the question number 11 from P2 October 2024 paper on the screen. So basically the concepts behind this question uh, it's from uh, proof basically yeah proof that has been discussed in the very first chapter of your pure mathematics 2 textbook. So in order to be able to solve this question definitely you should have idea about specifically proof by con uh, Proof by counterexample and proof by exhaustion. Exactly. Okay. So let's get started with question number 11. So, in part, in the first part of question number 11, they are asking to prove by counterexample that the statement, what's the statement? If n is a prime number, then 3 to the power n plus 2 is also a prime number. This statement is what? False. So counterexample. Counterexample is basically we need to give just a single example such that this example will be just what? Opposite of the given statement. So here they said if n is a prime number then 3 to the power n plus 2 is also a prime number. So we need to find out such an example that will not follow this statement okay okay so let's consider they said if n is a prime number remember n should be prime number okay so consider uh, n n is a prime number so n, the first prime number is what 2 n equals to 2 then 3 to the power 3 squared plus 1 it's what uh, you can you can you it's not required to show this uh, 3 squared plus 1 it is 9 plus 1 which is what 10 3 squared plus 2 which is what 11 11 is a prime number so it's not possible it's not possible to be taken next is prime number 3 so if you consider n equals to 3 n equals to 2 it's not fine n equals to 3 is not uh, let's see 3 squared is what 9 uh, okay 2 squared uh, 3 square was 9, 9 plus 2 it is 11, 11 is the prime number, so not acceptable as a counterexample. Then n equals to 3, 3 cube is 27, 27 plus 2 it is what? 29, 29 is also a prime, num prime number, so not acceptable. Next is n equals to, prime number is 5. If you consider 5, 3 to the power 5, 3 to the power 5, 3 to, 3 to the power 4 is 81, so, so 3 to the power 5 is basically 243 plus 2, which is 245. 245 is divisible by 5. Also, what? Uh, 245 is also divisible by uh, 15. No. 245 is divisible by 5. Yeah. And also 49. So, which is not a prime number. So, we can consider what? What? We can consider n equals to what? 5. Okay. Uh, so, what uh, 3 to the power 5 plus 2 it is what 245 okay it will be 245 which is not a what prime number isn't it which is not a prime number so we have successfully given a counter example okay hence proven Hence proven that the given statement is what? Is false. Fine. Done. Part 1. Fine. Okay. Next is part 2 of question number 11. Okay. 
In part 2, they are asking to use proof by exhaustion to prove that if m is an integer that is not divisible by 3. Try to understand. m is an integer that is not divisible by what? 3. So, m is such an integer which is not divisible by 3. Then, m squared minus 1 is divisible by 3. So, we need to prove it using exhaustion method. Now, consider exhaustion. Proof by exhaustion. How does it work? Look. In proof by exhaustion, we need to prove that the given statement is true for all possible cases. And we need to show that in each, in every possible cases, the given statement is what? True. So, since they are saying m is an integer that is not divisible by 3, there are infinite possible numbers that is an integer there are infinite possible integers that is not divisible by 3 right so it's impossible to consider one by one the the numbers like uh, what not divisible by 3 2 it's not divisible by 3 then 4 5 7 8 these are what not divisible by 3 so in this way you can't finish by considering the cases so that's why what we will do we will consider some general what expressions to consider the cases okay so let's have a look how we will consider the cases first case okay uh, okay uh, pen and it okay for part two consider at first what uh, m m equals to m is such an integer that is not divisible by three that means 3k it's what multiple of 3 that means definitely it is divisible by 3 so 3k plus 1 it's not divisible by 3 isn't it so if you consider 3k plus 1 so this this case this expression basically considers which numbers 1 2 uh, 3 is uh, is divisible by 3 then 4 right or uh, it, it's not considering 2 it's considering 1 4 then uh, 7, uh, then uh, 10. These cases are being considered by this expression. Okay? So, let's use m square minus 1. So, m squared minus 1 would be what? Uh, 3k plus 1 whole squared minus 1. So, that would give you a square plus 2ab plus b squared minus that is 1 plus 1 minus what 1 so what you will get here you will get 9k squared plus 6k and have a look now we can take 3k common from here to get 3k plus 2 which is what which is divisible by 3 so done for the numbers for the cases like 1 4 7 10 these are basically one more than a multiple of what 3 for these numbers for these numbers we have proven that what n square minus 1 is divisible by 3 okay are we done not yet because we still have remaining some integers which are what which are not divisible by 3 like 2 then 5 then 8 and then what 11 these and keeps go it definitely it, it keeps going okay we can't finish by writing so 11 8 5 2 for these cases we need to consider another expression so you can have a look these numbers were one more than a multiple of what 3 and these numbers are what two more than a multiple of three which are still not divisible by what three okay so consider what we'll consider the next case m equals to what twice of k uh, sorry 3k multiple of three that is uh, 3k plus what two so m squared minus one so m squared minus one that would give you what uh, 3k plus 2 whole squared minus 1 so you will get what 
ना a स्क्वायर प्लस 2ab प्लस b स्क्वायर माइनस 1 सो यू विल गेट हियर 9k स्क्वायर प्लस 12k प्लस 3 सो यू कैन टेक 3 कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर टू गेट 3k स्क्वायर ओके प्लस 4k प्लस 1 व्हिच इज व्हाट डिविजिबल बाय 3 which is what divisible by what three so what we got we also have proven that for the numbers for the integers which are two more than a multiple of three for the, these numbers m square minus one is divisible by three okay so what we can say hence proven what hence proven what has been proven if m is an integer integer that is that is what not divisible by what 3 then what m squared minus 1 is divisible by what by 3 done and that's what exactly the last part of the last question that is number question number 11 from the most recent p2 paper that is october 2024 paper has asked for and that's the end of this playlist thank you very much for watching fine